ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the esteemed FaceTime with Leaders, an initiative by World Development Corporation. I am Falak Zeb Khan, anchor at World Development Corporation. FaceTime with Leaders is a platform for industry titans to share their experiences, thoughts, ideas, and best practices in order to inspire one another and future leaders. In a nutshell, we attempt to encapsulate the multi-decadal learnings acquired by these industry leaders. We also hope that by conducting these FaceTime with Leaders interviews, we can bring together a global community of eminent personalities. By bringing together such visionaries on one platform, we hope to play a part in inspiring the lives of other leaders. Great learnings from great leaders undoubtedly assist everyone by identifying nurturing and using the trade secrets that are proven success formulas for many. And this is what we aim for with these sessions by making them a gathering of industry stalwarts and a knowledge sharing community. We have one such industry title on FaceTime with leaders with us today, Mr. Sunit Mittal. Hello, welcome Mr. Mittal. We are glad to have you here with us today. Uh, thank you very much uh, for a nice uh, initiation of this session. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Mr. Mittal is an accomplished business management and project control leader. With a, He has extensive experience in various industries, including oil and gas, petrochemicals, thermal power plants, and renewables. With a strong background in project execution and management, he has a proven track record of outstanding results and exceptional leadership abilities. At present, he is associated with Worldly as the head of business management and project controls for Cluster 3 in India. So, Mr. Mittal, could you please let our viewers know about your journey of becoming head of business management and project controls at Worldly? Uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity, uh, Falak. I would like to, uh, before I move on to this question, I would like to thank to Director Institute uh, for such a wonderful platform has been created and this has enabled us to take the journey forward on the uh, Director Institute and becoming uh, uh, further uh, aspiration of the uh, independent director. Now coming to the journey part, uh, well, uh, it has been 32 years in the journey. It started uh, in 1990 and uh, 2003, long journey. And in this journey, uh, going to the uh, business acumen, which has uh, been a part and parcel of the uh, deliveries uh, in the gamut of business success. Business acumen includes the uh, contract and commercial uh, encompasses together. And second item I would like to rope in is a trust. As, as a business leader, the trust is uh, very important uh, to lead the uh, business and create a wonderful organization. Then third part uh, would be count as a leadership role, uh, unlearn and learn process. In this process, uh, uh, one who is spreading the uh, leadership role uh, required to do unlearn and learn to avoid the uh, past baggages and learn new things. In this journey, I did a recent one uh, on, online course uh, from the Harvard Business School uh, which has uh, turned my thought process 180 degree. What I thought of uh, leadership has uh, completely, you know, reversed and changed. And uh, it was wonderful, uh, eye awakening uh, uh, platform. And then uh, managing the 5,000 crore plus uh, uh, worth of CapEx projects, uh, which has been added to the journey of last 32 years and saving uh, 50 crore uh, from the penalty uh, in, from one of the customer has been a uh, very phenomenal e experience, I would say. So these are the, uh, I would say, achievement uh, in the five bucket of the journey, besides the uh, uh, fabulous introduction uh, you have already given. That's really great. Indeed, a long journey and come a long way. So I would like to ask, what has been your biggest motivation throughout your career journey? If I count the biggest motivation, which is uh, every day or every organization, every project is a new one as a project definition. That is how I've been continuing in this journey. Uh, every day, every time, a new project, new aspiration, new targets, 
it's not a, a monotonous journey uh, unlike other field so that has been uh, one of the motivation part second is uh, the, as a part of my career the business management and uh, budget controls this is near to the uh, um, i mean uh, the board of directors and the management they want to review the things uh, very frequently and uh, we become ear and eyes to the uh, management so these are the uh, motivation where we deliver every day new uh, challenges and come up to the speed falak so falak as you ask uh, one question to me on the motivation part the motivation comes from uh, within an inner core and uh, motivation also i believe uh, is a part and parcel from the uh, personal life as well as the official life so if uh, once uh, personal and professional life you know goes hand in hand i think that is the first motivation come into the picture and uh, i am being uh, remain into the project life the uh, project are always unique and uh, project delivery demands a lot of challenges and that is where the motivation uh, uh, on on the front runner and uh, when the further uh, discussion taking place i will touch up on the uh, landing into the uncharted territory and doing the things never done before so these are the uh, things which uh, provokes and uh, uh, keep motivated uh, myself alak yes so uh, which of your job roles have you enjoyed the most so coming to the job role which i enjoyed the most if i figure out uh, one job role has been as a project director in my one of the company uh, which i served punjalite limited in the, the uh, epc space engineering procurement construction and the reason behind which i just now narrated the things we never done before never means uh, never uh, i have never imagined never thought never done in my career even so far not done and i am hunting for that so that role enables me and telling me to uh, take those challenges and uh, i have delivered that uh, very successfully in the very challenging environment uh, those time so that is the role which i enjoyed uh, most uh, so as someone with a non renewable energy sector work profile how do you reconcile your profile with your esg inclinations so my esg inclination there is a uh, some thoughts of mine which i would like to uh, put forward to the uh, audience that esg uh, i feel uh, emerges uh, from the csr which uh, earlier is in csr now it is esg and why esg emerging so much around the world because of the imbalance into the society and the corporates uh, which corporate are trying to uh, play their role including the society this imbalance has been created by uh, ourselves so to uh, bring the imbalance to the balance that is where the esg come into the picture if i set an example uh, like mines and mines and minerals minerals are uh, necessary for the uh, uh, society but up to what extent so digging the mines up to what extent then uh, the water crisis then the air pollution then many such thing global warming come into the picture where esg role uh, we all need to play and i am a firm believer that esg is not just on a paper and putting on the wall but walk the talk uh, for the society and that's what i believe for the esg yes so as an esg and corporate governance expert what values do you bring to the table uh, the first value i would like to bring on the table uh, as an esg expert uh, and governance that uh, we uh, not only focus uh, towards the what we have framed but we look at the basics and fundamental of the esg that why this esg is required what are the basics and fundamentals how this will serve the society and what imbalance uh, has been created to bring the balance back to the uh, uh, planet so the values will be ethical way of doing the uh, work and uh, whatever we have been framed as a government uh, government governance policy onto the uh, uh, esg space that uh, we need to firmly each and indi- every individual of the board uh, must ensure it is in place and practice and achieve the goals which has been decided so these are the values uh, in my mind uh, hello 
That's really interesting. <laughs> so, uh, talking about technology, what are some of the most remarkable changes you have seen in any of your fields with changes in technology? And what changes do you expect to see with the advent of IoT, AI, ML, blockchain, big data, and Web 3.0? So, I would like to say uh, in, uh, in the area of uh, technology, Technology, as everybody knows, no need to even explain uh, or bring attention of everyone, has played a very important role. Like, for example, I will start with the digital. The digital has changed the entire arena of how we thought, how we think, and how we are going to think, like AI and machine learning and IoT uh, and so on, and including big data. So definitely a technology uh, we need to adopt, but I would like to uh, uh, say with a caution that uh, technology has to be exploited uh, in the favor of uh, humanity and uh, in the favor of uh, success of the planet because everything has got uh, uh, two sides of the coin. Right. So, so digital uh, has been uh, very vocal these days, but uh, forthcoming technology, which is AI, machine learning, also playing a lot of uh, uh, part, but one should not be fear that human being will be, uh, you know, uh, reduced because of the adopting the technology. I would say to the audience that uh, technology is uh, uh, without a human is not possible. So technology, we should be positively adopted and go ahead and exploit in our favor. Uh, all the human beings uh, will be benefited for that. Yes, that's really true that what you said, that without human beings, it's not possible because obviously it's we who made it. So, yes. So as you know, we are building a community of industry magnets. The move is meant for cross-pollination of knowledge and building a knowledge-sharing community of corporate giants and industry experts. So what are your thoughts about this initiative taken by Mr. Zishan Pathan, Mr. Hewal Mehta and the whole World Development Corporation team? It's a, it's a very good question. And this question requires certain uh, minutes to explain my thoughts about uh, Direct Institute and all these three gentlemen and uh, uh, ladies uh, who has contributed uh, towards this very uh, noble thought. I would say first, uh, when I came across about uh, Direct Institute, uh, I was uh, apprehend that uh, uh, what, as usual, this course or this platform would be uh, like another platform. Yes. Uh, however, uh, during the webinar, I showed my courage and then uh, thereafter, uh, I took the opportunity to take it forward. And I found this uh, platform phenomenal in terms of uh, the uh, architect part of it, first of all. The uh, gentlemen and ladies who have contributed toward the architect and the intent behind it is, uh, is depicted into the uh, system. And when I move journey uh, uh, for uh, the course, uh, courses which has been designed, uh, very nicely knitted uh, videos have been placed and I can understand that for even 20 minutes video, uh, how much uh, effort and how much uh, knowledge uh, going into that and without flawlessly. So there has been uh, more than 100 modules like that and uh, Dishan Patan uh, has been quite fabulous to deliver those modules and uh, those modules directly goes into the brain of the people. So I would like to say that uh, the Direct Institute is doing a good job in terms of bringing the governance onto the uh, society in terms of uh, 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 emerging uh, independent directors who are not aware of this field, first of all. Second, uh, bringing the awareness. Third, the learning process. Then fourth is uh, bringing up to the speed to them and shine and uh, through these kind of uh, various session as well as uh, making their uh, uh, documents. I mean, this is very fabulous uh, effort by Direct Institute, I would say. Thank you so much, Mr. Mittal. It was fantastic conversing with you. Really kind words uh, you've said. And I'm confident that your insights will inspire future leaders. It will help them grow in their businesses too. Thank you so much, Mr. Sunit Mittal, for joining us today. We wish you the best for your future endeavors. 
and moreover trust that this initiative by Directors Institute unquestionably expanded the participants' understanding and enriched their minds. Thank you so much once again for joining us today on FaceTime with Leaders. Thank you so much for uh, Director Institute. Thank you for up to you as well.